evening uh, bender jcc staff hope everyone is doing well today hope you guys are staying safe for the ones i saw today hope everyone is staying safe hope you're with your families uh submitted something to treva regarding about tennis if you want to get physical activity with your kids have them do some physical activity correction would recommend maybe doing some tennis uh let me get my props um, got two rackets here this was so this racket right here I currently have is my original racket that I started with about over four years ago as you can see it says see call me on there go down there for tennis clinics um, I also probably a lot of you know that I do play in a league um, also down on the shore um, Team is still undefeated, unfortunately, due to the virus, it got shut down, so that got canceled, as well as clinics at uh, Sea Colony as well. I'm going to show you a couple uh, activities you can do with your kids. Um, this is my main racket I use. It's a Babolat. It's great for topspin, um, uh, slices. Um, but a lot of spin, I can tell you for a fact. Uh, the first thing I usually do with my kids, I coach my kids, walking the dog. Uh, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Hold on one second. There we go. So walking the dog. You're going to place the ball on the racket. And you're going to walk the dog. So you can push it with your hand, as you can see palm of my hand. If you don't have that hand-eye coordination or you just need to hold the racket, you're more than welcome to hold it with two hands. I'm going to walk the dog as you can see. Yes, I'm not supposed to be in the light, but here we go. So I'm basically holding the racket, walking the dog. So the ball is going to be the dog. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go all the way through. Um, you're more than welcome to take a look as well. Uh, and do this the ball can be in the center is where it's currently at it can be there like I said if you're really not used to tennis you're more than welcome to use two hands as you can see right over here I'm using two hands um, just want to let you know so I'm using for the purposes of me one hand now you don't want to <coughs> you don't want to hold it tight you don't want to hold it loose where it's going back and forth. Hold it medium grip. Basically, your hand on the racket like this. Hold it like this. Turn it this way. Thumbs right over here. Index finger. Um, this is how you usually hold a racket. You can practice holding the racket as well. Doing some tricks with it as well. As well. So I just want to let you know in regards to that. So don't do it tight. Here. Medium grip. Put the ball on there and you're just going to walk. For the purposes of this video, I am not going to continue to walk back and forth. But your kids can do this about four or five times. That's what I usually do with my, my students as well. So you're going to just walk the dog like this. Sorry, my allergies are bothering me a little bit, so I just want to let you know. So, <laughs> um, Another fun activity is what I usually do if you want to get creative. Air guitar. Careful of the strings, make sure the strings don't break, but you're more than welcome to. The tennis ball can be your pick. It's like a little cello or banjo. <laughs> Get a little creative, you know what I mean? Um, you can also bounce the ball up and down like that. This is what I would recommend as well. can bounce it. Unfortunately, you can't see me bouncing it. Basically, you just 
you're pushing it down and bounces back up, push it back down, bounces back up, pushes right back down. So just want to let you know for the purposes of that. You can also make a sandwich as well to start. Put the ball on the racket, put the other racket on the ball. And you're just going to be basically moving the ball up. Mm. So, sandwich, push the ball up, roll it back up, roll it back down, up, down, up, down. Um, <clears throat> tennis tag. We'll put this down for a sec. So basically, I'm the person that is going to be it. Six feet away, I would probably just toss it, roll it, roll the ball. I would say hit the arms, the legs, and the foot. Not the head, not the shoulders, not the back. Don't do that. You can roll the ball, hit their foot. You can throw it at their arm. They're it. Say, the, say your child throws the ball. And the parent, the ball is in like the middle of the field somewhere. The kid, the person who is closest to the ball would be it. Get less than 10 people. Get, stay six feet apart from them as well that's what i would recommend due to the guidelines just want to let you know in regards to that um, the guitar thing you can do as well pretend that you're in a band um, also what i would recommend pretend you're hammering something So that's what, you know, I would do as well. Sorry. Maybe turn these rackets, it's like a little exercise. Like pretend it's a weight. You're bench pressing. You can do that. Um, Pretend you're like chopping something as well. So like you're chopping vegetables. As one of my tennis coaches say, it's called chop suey. You're basically slicing, slicing and dicing. We recommend that as well. So you're like, you're chopping veggies, chopping, you know, cheese, fruit, whatever. You can do that as well. You could, for the purposes of this, I would not say you could use Star Wars. I actually have some kids who have done Star Wars. You basically just put, instead of like hitting each other, you put one racket goes like this. Let me turn for the purposes. One racket's gonna hit this, the other one's gonna hit that. This, that, this, that. That can be like your lightsabers, but careful that you don't damage the strings. For the purposes of this, I'm just doing it lightly. Kids, don't do it too hard, okay? Um, you could pretend you're rowing. For the purpose, rowing a boat. This is why I teach some of the kids as well. Or if you want to pretend you're playing baseball, have the parents as well that's why i teach some of my kids as well they pretend tennis is like baseball and if you want if you're a lefty unfortunately i'm not so 
So just pretend. You can do all sorts of stuff with the racket as well. Um, what I also teach my kids as well, <sighs> balancing. I'm gonna put the racket down for the purposes of this. You could also, where is my tennis ball? I just had my tennis ball, sorry guys. Ah, it's over there, sorry, I'll be right back. Have the racket on the ground. The handle is facing your feet. Stand together in the ready stands. Bounce the ball, see the ball? Sorry, it didn't work. Basically, the ball is supposed to here. For the purposes I'm doing on my carpet, the ball is supposed to bounce back up. So I tap it down, and it bounces back up. Tap it down, bounces back up. Tap it down, bounces back up. You can do that as well as what I would recommend. Or hit it to the ground. So I'm going to start up here. You're smashing something, basically. Do this outside is what I would recommend on a hard black top surface. So smash it down, smash it. Um, like I, we, did air, we did air guitar, bouncing it up like that. Do this for a couple times as well. Bounce it up, it's trick, turn it into tricks. Stand on one leg if you would like. I'm currently standing on one leg. Do the other leg. As well, uh, do one arm, right? Like put your arm behind your back. Now put the racket in your left hand and put your right arm. For the purposes of this, I have not done that. Uh, parents, you can also. Bounce it back and forth with each other as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. <sighs> so uh, that's what I would recommend as well. If you guys are around this weekend, we can maybe play tennis. Um, more than happy to play with your uh, kids if they want to learn or if they just want to get out and have some fun. Keep that six feet, uh, dis uh, six feet distance and no more than 10 people as well. So just want to let you know in regards to that, I will be submitting this video to Treva so you guys can see. Um, just want to let you know in regards to that as well. Um, you could also, if you want to practice on your serve, toss the ball up, catch it. Toss the ball, catch it. Toss the ball, catch it. Toss the ball, catch it. So it's pretty good. If you want to pretend you're a pitcher or a football player, you can do that as well. Basically, from my training for coaching, I basically was told you have, for any other sport, just fill in the sports, basically. You know what I mean? So just um, practice. Let's see if I can juggle a couple tennis balls. I'll be right back. And if your kid's a great juggler, they can juggle. As you can see, I am not the best juggler. Um, what I also do with the kids as well, pretend I'm a little alien. I got little tiny antlers. I'm Rudolph the tennis deer. Oops. I'm Tennis Rudolph. 
or as Robin calls me, Serena Piglet. And kids, please don't hurt your parents. They love you very much. So it's very fun. You can do a lot of stuff with this tent with the tennis racket. Um, pretend it's a sword. Or a lightsaber, like I said. Practice chopping. Basically, you're holding the racket and you're chopping. Um, another coach taught me to get your backhand correct. Put the racket under your armpit. Hold your arm like this. And there's your backhand. And then you could just... I'm a one-hander. I was told to do two. Two-handed is going to be basically... For the purposes of this, kids, don't try this at home. So for the purposes of two, start like you're scooping ice cream. Sorry, I hit my... So just scoop like ice cream. Scoop like ice cream. So your racket's like this, hold it like this. Hold the other on the other hand and you're gonna scoop it. Scoop like ice cream, guys. Do you like ice cream? Just pretend you're scooping ice cream. That is your backhand. Your forehand is like when you, you serve. Continental grip. For the purposes of this, since I have a low ceiling, let me use a smaller racket for that purpose. So you're gonna serve. I serve like this. Just wanna let you know in regards to that as well. Like I said, I'm around this weekend. If you guys wanna play, more than happy to assist you with that as well. Uh, if anyone wants to play. And my racquetball people, I would recommend you guys do the same thing. Same drills. Have a little fun. That's what we're here for. So, um, hope everyone's well. I'm going to submit this. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So, you can do guitar with the ball. Chop like veggies. Push the ball back and forth. Think of windshield wipers. Basically, when you volley, it's like windshield wipers. It's like your parents are driving down the car, in the car, windshield wipers. That is a volley. You're not swinging. Yeah, just have fun with the rackets, guys. It's all part of this exercise. Some have one. Some have two. Some do like that. So just have a little fun with the rackets. Have fun with tennis. Tennis is supposed to be fun. You can, if you guys play basketball, implement your skills into tennis. So I hope everyone runs well. Stay safe. If you have any questions, give me a call. So just have a little fun. Have fun with the kids. So peace out. Stay safe. Take care.